Man, man like Goretzka. Man like Goretzka. Come in the second half. One little step over. Does the business. What's going on guys? It is JJ here back with another football reaction video and the international break is finally here. The first set of fixtures took place today uh, and today we're going to be looking at one of those fixtures, probably the most high profile of the day uh, in their setup for the Netherlands. It is Germany versus Serbia, the 1-1 draw that took place in Wolfsburg in Germany. Now, this, this was a very physical match. This was a very hard fought match for the two teams. Uh, Jurgi Lowe, or yeah, yeah, Jurgi Lowe was, he was really trying to, you know, revamp this Germany team. Brandt started, Havertz started, Sané, who I thought was outstanding in the game, as well as a very young line, Kimmich in, in a center mid uh, position. It, it was a very good overall team performance. Luka Jovic getting the goal for, for Serbia, and Leon Goretzka, who would come in later in the game, getting the goal for Germany. But yeah, we're gonna Take a look at the highlights from the contest. I was, I was able to watch it and it was, oh, it was so, so physical. So I'm excited to take a look at the highlights once again. I hope you guys are as well. So let's get into the video. As well, guys, you can find the original video just down in the description below. Good block. Ah, yeah, yeah, Jovic. Luka Jovic, what a guy. I did not think he was onside for this goal. I and I know obviously he did end up being onside, but watching it, I was I thought he was like for sure offside. And so watching it live, I was like, oh, great header, but it means nothing. Um, but no, yeah, he is well onside for that. That is just being in the right place at the right time. Very very good positioning. Very very good positioning. Now he's offside. Werner, Timo Werner. Um, I'm a little, I'm a little iffy on Timo Werner during this contest. He, he was, he was, eh. he was, he was big. Eh. He wasn't great. He wasn't bad. Um, never really got that. That was probably his best clear-cut chance right there. Man like Ta, Jonathan Ta. I, I would love to have. I would love to have him at a big, big European club. Bayer Leverkusen is a good spot for him at the moment. I think he deserves better. He definitely deserves better. Him at a place like PSG with Kimpembe, they would be amazing together. That's a great ball. Never mind, that that was Timo Werner's best chance, and he was onside as well. Forgot he missed that one. Yeah. Neuer had a good first half. Oh! I forgot about that chance. I, for, I completely forgot about that. Serbia, you really had a chance to go two up. Oh, that's a L. That's a L. You gotta hold that one. Mm, Serbia. Serbia, Serbia, Serbia. You had your chances. They they had their chances. I, I think a team like France or, ne or the Netherlands kills them with those chances. The, the, the back line looked very inexperienced. Su Sule and Ta together, they just need time. They would get time if they had a guy like Hummels, but, you know, they retired him early. Leon Goretzka. I, okay, so my, my thoughts on Havertz and Brandt in this game, they are great young players for Germany. They are the future of Germany, but I'm just, I'm unsure if they're ready to start for the Mannschaft now. I'm, I'm, I don't think they're ready to start. Julian Brandt is a good player. Don't get me wrong. But I would rather have Marco Royce. He is well in form. Yeah, Sané. Sané unlucky. Sané was tearing them to bits in the second half. Man, like, Leroy Sané, he, he's getting a new contract. He He's getting a new contract at Man City because he was just a monster. Marco Royce. My G. 
in for Marco Royce is just a monster. He really is such a baller. Marco Royce. I'm gonna keep saying his name. Marco Royce. It's just. It, it's so fulfilling to see someone who had such great potential come back. I think Sane puts a boot to that. That's a goal. Get up. Get up, son. Get on that. Get on that bike. That was a beautiful save. That is a beautiful goal line save. Hmm. Unlocks. Yeah. Then all in all, I think I think it was even for a draw. Serbia missed some clear cut chances. Germany obviously missed theirs. A Royce chance, the Gundogan chance, the Werner chance, and then Serbia pretty much missed an open net. So. And then man like Goretzka, man like Goretzka, come in the second half, one little step over, does the business, and he just, he completely kills it, he completely kills the game. Uh, I know this highlights tape doesn't show the red card for Leroy Sané just at the end of the game, uh, my goodness was it dirty, I know it was getting super physical, super, super gritty down at the end, Leroy Sané was absolutely murdering Serbia, so I understand why they were fouling him, uh, but yeah, this this I, th I feel like this was a good opener test for both teams uh, going into Euro qualifiers. I don't think this was a European qualifier with the amount of substitutions that were made. But if it was, 1-1 seems like a relatively fair result. Maybe Germany got ahead on expected goals. They could have had two uh, in that game. So yeah, it was, it was Serbia. Hell of a fight you guys put up. Luka Jovic, props to you. Goretzka, great super sub. And otherwise... In a very entertaining game. It was super entertaining. But thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know your thoughts on the contest down below as well. Be sure to subscribe to the channel because in the entire international break, we have videos planned every single day. So yeah, stay tuned for those. Thank you guys so much for watching and peace.